Here's a 58 Chevy wiper motor that's been taken apart and serviced and put back together. And inside here is brushes that you take apart and you clean. And inside of here is a plastic gear that uh, you can take the case apart and clean that up, uh, lubricate the gear, put it back together. And there's transmission arms on, on both ends here that you can see. Uh, these arms have to be put on a, a certain way. Um, there's, there's marks and stuff that, that's actually in the book that you can look at and go by in the, uh, the assembly manual here, which is helpful. It doesn't always show you exactly how everything goes back together. I mean, there's, there's exploded views of parts, but uh, some of this, see here's that mark right here, this is the pair to, compared to right here. Uh, there's some things you have to... Uh, uh, figure out you know sometimes on your own so so what I like to do what what's nice is if you have a spare uh, wiper motor laying around you can always look at this and have something to go by uh, before you take the actual when you're working on a part and it kind of helps you get things uh, put back together uh, the relay on this one here has been taken apart and um, tested and the contacts have been cleaned on it and in the book there's actually a, a a section in here that tells you how to test that which is which is nice but but again it's nice to have a something you know that you can get your actual hands on and look at uh, to help you get things uh, back together and on this one here um, I can show you how to bench test this real quick uh, before you put it on the car uh, to make sure it's going to work for you so you don't have to go taking it off and on all the time uh, trying to figure little things out and what I'll do is on the end here there's a ground strap and I'll hook my 12 volt uh, minus on on the ground here like that and then on this end over here is the the plus terminal for the 12 volt positive and we'll hook a lead onto that and this little uh, wire here is the actual wire that goes in the car uh, and hooks to the switch on on this end here and to complete the circuit uh, we'll need to run a ground from from the switch to the to the actual body to complete the circuit so it has its isolated ground and the way I'll, I'll do this is I'll hook a, a jumper wire up to the ground on that end and then on, on this end here I will plug into the switch and then if everything works the way you test this on this two-speed switch is you turn the first uh, the first click here uh, it will be your low speed and you can see how the transmission uh, arms are starting to turn to turn there on low and then if I hit it again uh, there's high and I can show you a little better angle how that looks and those are the arms that turn the actual wiper transmission uh, which in turn will turn the blades and then uh, when you shut these motors off here I'll turn it back to low when you shut these motors off this uh, will actually reverse and turn the other way and it'll park itself on this little switch this little cam that's spinning will will park itself on this switch so that it's ready to go uh, for the next time and as I turn it off here I'll show you real quick how that reversing switch works. See if I push that switch it'll take off on you. Okay and that's pretty much uh, how these work. Uh, this one here is ready to go back in the car and that's about it.